Hey YouTube Rando here. So today we're going to be reviewing the YouTube Movie Maker. Uh, you know what better movie maker to review than the YouTube Movie Maker here on YouTube. Uh, now we've been on the mar in the market for a new video editing software for quite a while. Um, we've been looking at a bunch of different ones and the one that kept coming up was the YouTube Movie Maker, YouTube Movie Maker. So we picked it up. Um, been playing with it for about a week now. I've done quite a few videos with it. Haven't uploaded any of them. And here I'm going to explain why. Uh, first I'll just tell you a little bit about the Movie Maker. You can make YouTube videos, upload YouTube videos, manage your videos. Um, just all kinds of co cool stuff. So we're going to go to make videos because that's primarily what I got it for is to edit my YouTube videos. And you'll see right off the back it takes a little while to start up. A lot of that has to do with the ZD Soft uh, screen recorder that I should review because it's a piece of crap. And believe me, I did my research on it too. Uh, but it takes this long to um, open up regardless. It takes a little while to open up. It's really slow. Uh, I'll say that right off the back. But this thing has a lot of features on it. You can, you know, do all your editing right here, just like Windows Movie Maker. Um, up here, it has a lot of different stuff where you can add lyrics, icons, uh, just all kinds of crazy stuff to your videos. You can do shapes, I guess, where it will actually do the video uh, inside the shape <clears throat> and crop out everything else. Um, so there are some really cool features to it. Now, how you use it is you press this add your video to this section and then you drag it down to the video line uh, you can do video overlay and then you can do more video overlays over that video and you can do music uh, text just all kinds of stuff you can put subtitles um, so there is a lot of features and the to call it transitions has a lot of different transitions that look really neat um, you know something different than the same old Windows Movie Maker thing and that's kinda what I was looking for <clears throat> now I've already said it and I'll say it again this thing's extremely slow um, it probably took me somewhere around an hour to an hour and ten minutes to make this video right here to convert it after I put it on here to convert it to my desktop so I can upload it to YouTube which I don't have to do I could publish it right here but I always like to you know watch the videos and make sure something don't slip out that I need to edit or whatever you know sometimes the uh, bag bad language comes out and I, I like to edit that stuff out as much as possible on most of my videos anyways um, so it took a really long time to do it but I want you to see this it's it shaved two seconds off the video for the same reason these two videos this one and this one are the exact same videos 730 megabytes for a six minute video you know that's 270 megabytes shy of a full gig for a six minute video now this is Windows Movie Maker 260 megabytes for a six minute video six and a half minutes will just round up for both of them now like I said this one shaved two seconds but this is the exact same video um, so I actually ran through both videos thinking okay you know it's gonna be higher quality it's going to be much better and now that that wasn't the case um, now I do have a picture a screenshot of both of them pulled up here one for the YouTube Movie Maker and one for the Windows Movie Maker uh, I just want to say on everything that we've talked about up till now Windows Movie Maker beats out uh, YouTube Movie Maker the only thing that YouTube Movie Maker has that it doesn't have on Windows is a lot more options for your videos um, you can still do some cool stuff with Windows Movie Maker. You just have to play with it a little bit. Uh, I guess kind of like this one, but the, like the transitions on this one are uh, really cool, and it gives you a whole lot of them to uh, pick from. All right, I'm not going to go through it. But anyways, uh, it does have a lot of transition effects that are really neat. Uh, you can hit this random button right here and put, set them on random. It'll do different ones on every transition. So if you have a... 10 part video it'll be 10 different transitions or whatever nine uh, so let's let's exit out of this real quick because I want to show you these screenshots before we wrap this video up I'm trying to keep it under five minutes here. come on
Uh, like I said, the ZD Soft does make my uh, computer run slow anyway, so. Okay, so this first shot is from the YouTube Movie Maker. And you'll notice it's cropped better for YouTube right off the back, which it should be. Uh, and I guess that's why the file's so much bigger. I mean, it's twice the size of the Windows Movie Maker. Okay, so this is like 45 minutes, one second into the, or one minute into the video, somewhere in there. Um, I took screenshots for both of them. This is YouTube Movie Maker. Come on. Tried keeping it under five minutes. If my computer was running right, it would be under five minutes. Okay, Windows Movie Maker. So you can see it's it's crop different, but as far as the quality of video goes, uh, it's still pretty grainy. I mean, I know a lot of that has to do with my camera, but you try to read the sides of the boxes right here, it makes it wider. It's more widescreen for a uh, YouTube Movie Maker, but it's not any clearer. Uh, so it's cropped better for your YouTube, but it's not it's not any better, you know, video quality. I watched it and it looks just as crappy as my other videos that I do with Windows uh, Movie Maker. And I know a lot of people don't like the black bars on the sides of the video and on top or whatever, but I put up with it. I mean, it, it really doesn't bother me that much. So here's Windows, YouTube. I mean, it's just not that big of a difference. It's widescreen, yes. Um, <clears throat> it's set up for YouTube, but... As far as uploading a, a video that's 700 megabytes, that's a, it's a long video to upload. And if you have slow internet like I do, I have the cheapest internet package, man. Uh, so it takes me already a good hour to upload a video. So something like that's going to take two, two and a half hours uh, for just a simple six minute video. So we're going to have to find another one. Uh, actually, we're probably just going to stick with Windows Movie Maker because I'm tired of buying products that just don't work. Um, if you have the choice, I would steer clear of the YouTube Movie Maker. I wouldn't even bother with it. Um, I am going to play with it a little bit more, maybe get into the settings and see if I can change something and, you know, make it to where it's not um, putting such big files out. I, I, don't, I don't need my files to be almost a gig, you know. I just need something clear enough like this to see that it, that's not big enough of a difference for me to justify the extra you know hour and a half upload time so that's going to be it for this one thanks for watching youtube